Hello, Scorpio. Hello, and thank you so much for coming to your daily love reading. My name is Angela Venus, and I am truly grateful and honored to be the one giving you your reading to you, Scorpio. As I was sitting here meditating on your energy, um, I looked down and I noticed that on the bottom of the deck, there is the card of nostalgia, right? Sorry, before I get into this, real quickly, if you haven't already, please do hit the like button and comment below. It does help me with YouTube rankings. Okay. <laughs> All right, back to your reading. Um, There is somebody here who is thinking about you very intensely, okay? Um, and, and, and there's this feeling of melancholy coming through, all right? They, they miss you. They miss you very deeply. They miss you being in their life. I do feel like you were very much a blessing in this person's life, right? Um, 111, like just your energy, your company, your attention was such a blessing in this person's life, right? This person could, you know, deal a lot with, you know, loneliness or, um, <sighs> I'm picking up a person who really deals with, with, with feeling alone and feeling lonely, right? Um, and it's like they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the conversations you two had together. They're thinking about what went wrong within your connection or what it is that they did or what it is that they could have done different, or what it is that they wish was different. This person is really missing you right now, like something fierce, like really, really, really missing you, Scorpio, really, really missing you, okay? Um, could even be crying, okay, or feeling very sad, depressed, um, lost, okay, um, if, if, uh, I do feel like this is somebody that you don't have on your social media, okay, this is somebody, like, from the past, and not the recent past, okay, I'm talking about years ago, right, um, or maybe even for some of you months ago, right? I don't feel like you are in contact with this person. I don't feel like you even really think about this person anymore. There's this message coming through of like, you have moved on from whatever it is that you had with this person because, you know, I feel like they messed up, okay? They, they fucked up here. They did something they weren't supposed to do or hurt you in some way, or crossed your boundaries, or whatever the case is here. It's going to be different for everybody. This is just a general reading. 333. Um, but I, 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 I feel like if you have an open social media profile, it's like they're looking at your profile. They're looking at your photos. They're kind of scrolling through, you know, your photos and your posts, and they're reading about what you've been up to, and they're watching you and um, reminiscing about you and, you know, all the good conversations, all the good times that you had together, you know, they're looking at your photos. Um, I do also believe that if this person has something um, that you gave them, I, I and if they still have it, I do feel like they're holding it. You know, um, if it smells like you, they could be smelling it. Like, for example, um, let's say you gave this person a necklace. They're, like, holding it. They're reminiscing about you. There's a very deep sense of nostalgia. There's music playing in the background. They're listening to music. They're holding this necklace. They're thinking about you, you know, um, 444. Um, if you gave this person, let's say, a hoodie, it's like this person is you know, smelling that hoodie and they're, they're smelling your perfume or your cologne or, 
you know, they're, they could be wearing the hoodie, you know, um, snuggling up in the hoodie, thinking about you, reminiscing about you, wishing that things were different, hoping that things were different. Um, I do feel like this person knows that they fucked up and, and they know exactly, exactly what it is that they did that hurt you. Okay. And I feel like you severed this connection. You disconnected it because of whatever it is that transpired between you two. Maybe this person was disrespectful. Maybe they weren't respecting you. Maybe they were crossing your boundaries. Maybe they hurt you, right? I, I don't know. Okay, but look at this on the bottom of the deck, Union. There, I do feel like this person is on the verge of reaching out to you again to try to initiate a conversation in in to try to get back into your life on on good terms at possibly a friendship level, right? Um, yeah. See, so you guys are separate. Whoever. I'm picking up here. It's like you two are separated. Um, I'm just picking up a sense of like Scorpio moving on and living their life. And it's like you don't even think about this person. But this person, it's like they obsessively think about you. Um, you know, watch you online. Um, you know, I, this, listen to music that reminds them of you. You know, wishing that things were different. Wishing that... Um, they made better choices, right? Angels, ancestors, guides, universal light, the seven Hathors and Aphrodite, my light team, please come to me. Fill this house with light and love. Fill my vessel with light and love. Kick out anything and everything that is negative and fill this house and my vessel with light and love. I would like messages for Scorpio, please. This is a reading for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is it that Scorpio needs to understand and know about this connection? Um, messages rooted in love and light, please, for Scorpio. Messages rooted in love and light for the zodiac sign of Scorpio, please. Messages rooted in love and light for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Okay. What is it that you have for Scorpio, please? What is it that you have for Scorpio, please? Just seeing nostalgia again. I'm seeing Divine Feminine here. It's like this person recognizes your worth and recognizes you to be um, a, a, a higher human. That's the only way I know how to put it. Like, you're just not the average human. This person sees you the way, the way you interact with people, the way you are, your personality traits, the decisions you make. Um the type of person you are, they see you as somebody who's like on a higher level. You know, I, I do feel like you are really thriving in your authenticity at the moment. And I feel like you are in a very good place, um, mentally, physically, emotion, emotionally, financially, and, and, and you're very rooted in your purpose here on earth, right? Um, and I, I, I feel like this person is very lost, okay? They're, they're very, very lost without you, okay? Very lost. What is it that you have for Scorpio here? Please, messages rooted in the highest love and light, please. All right. Messages rooted in the highest love and light. So we've got barrier. Um, Divine Feminine is coming out yet again. <sighs> I 
We've got Twin Flame. We've got Bound. <clears throat> We've got Lessons. Spirit is saying to take this card. Um, cycles. Stuck. Spirit is saying two more. So let me pull two more cards here. Grief. Regret. We've also got deception, um, signs, we've got reunion and new direction underneath the deck offer. Um, Scorpio, I, I genuinely feel like you, you, you are done with this. Okay. I, I genuinely am picking up and feeling that there was some sort of deception within this connection, right? There, there was some sort of, um, deception that you picked up on, um, that you like, it's like you had this intuition of deception, but it's like you were able to prove it or there was some sort of like something, some truth that came to light with regards to this person being deceptive. It's like you caught them in something, um, or you caught them doing something that was not fair to you. Okay. And I, I genuinely feel like it's like you, you, you're coming out as the divine feminine here. So you, you recognize your worth and you, you recognize you know, what it is that you deserve within a connection. So I feel like it was very hard for you to, to, to do so. Okay. But I do feel like you, you disconnected the connection. I feel like it was a very deep connection, a very deep, like soulmate bond here. Um, I mean, we do have twin flame and bound. And for me, bound is, you know, the devil and the tarot and the twin flame is the lover's card. So there's this sense of this being a very, very deep, very, very deep, very, very deep, deep, deep bond, very, very deep connection that you held on to for too long, right? And I feel like you recognize that now. Like you went, you know, you cut this off, you went through the healing process, you learned your lessons, and you said, I'm no longer going to allow this cycle with this person to continually keep me stuck in this same bullshit of like pain and heartache, right? And so there was a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of grief, but you were also stuck in this cycle, in this connection with this person of continually allowing them back into your life, okay? But there's this message here of you really... going through a very deep transformation with regards to the pain that this person caused you within your life, right? You know, you went through a very deep purging, a very deep awakening um, because of the deception and the pain that this person caused you, okay? And um, y you realize and understand that you made the right decision with regards to this person. Okay, you you <clears throat> understand that this person will always be beneath you. And I don't say that in a way of like you're superior, but in a way you are. And 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 I I I, I lack the words to really explain this and and I don't mean any disrespect to anybody. But you are a divine feminine and you deserve a divine masculine, not a devil energy, right? Not a deceptive devil energy that's going to, you know, deceive you, uh, cause you pain, lie to you, break your heart, 
um, possibly deal with third parties, you know, and all the while they're making excuses for their behavior, right? Um, they didn't care about you or the their actions towards you or the pain that they caused you because if they did, all right, if they did see value in you and if they did truly love you, they would have never deceived you. They would have never treated you the way that they did. They would have never hurt you the way that they did. They would have never allowed third parties to interfere with their connection with you. Do you get what I'm saying here? Whatever it is for you. But it's like, as painful as it was for you and as much pain and grief and trauma as you experienced within that connection, it's also the thing that truly woke you up to your self-worth, your self-love, what it is you deserve, your boundaries, what it is you will and will not tolerate within a partnership um, or a connection, you know, what it is that you will and will not deal with or tolerate within um, a romantic interest, a romantic partner, okay? Like this person hurt you to a degree where it broke you on a soul level. And now this person is, is paying for that, okay? You cut the cycle off, you moved on, but this person is now paying their karma for what it is that they did to you and the pain that they caused you, okay? Because we've got stuck, we've got grief, and we've got regret. And this person is now paying their karma and they're stuck in this karmic cycle, okay? They're stuck in this karmic cycle of watching you online, reminiscing about you, obsessively thinking about you and the times that you had together and where it is that it went wrong and, and the actions that they took and the things that they did and how bad they hurt you. This is all stuff that is truly on the forefront of their mind, you know, obsessing about it, thinking about it. Like they can't get you off their mind and they have so many regrets, Scorpio, and they're going through such a very deep sense of grief. There could even be some sort of drug use here, whether that's alcohol, um, um, I don't know. I'm picking up alcohol, like a brown alcohol, but it could be, um, anything. All right. Um, this person is wanting to come back into your life. And um, they're wanting a connection with you. Um, I, I think that they know that like, okay, it's never going to be the same. And I'm never going to have Scorpio the way that I used to have Scorpio. But maybe at the very least, I can have Scorpio back as a friend, right? This is kind of their mind frame. Like, Maybe I can't have Scorpio back as a as a lover. Maybe that has ended for me. I mean, they're hopeful that it that it hasn't, that maybe in the future the two of you can rekindle the love that you once had for each other. But I, I feel like it, in this person's frame of thinking, it's like, okay, Scorpio has moved on, but maybe I can at the very least have Scorpio in my life as a friend because I, I do genuinely feel like you know, you were such a blessing in this person's life. And, you know, just your at attention and your love to this person as, you know, a friend is something this person deeply desires from you. You know, to have that communication, to have your phone number, to be able to text you right? To be able to call you, to be able to um, have interaction with you, right? Okay, but this person is wanting to come in and try to open up the door again. And, and I don't, you know, 
like I said, I, I feel like they're opening, they're trying to open up a door of, of friendship, right? Not so much a door of romance or love or, you know, let's get back together, but let's just be friends. Like, I miss you, right? But I, I genuinely feel like this person left such a bad taste in your mouth with regards to what it is that they did, the their deceptive actions, right? That you are not even willing to entertain the idea of this person coming back into your life. And I do feel like you are more than likely blocking them, however it is that they're coming into your life, right? And you know, I I feel like this was a very, you know, very, very hard um, lesson learned here for you. But it's like you, you learned the lesson and you broke free of that lesson because you, you chose differently. Okay, instead of choosing to be in that deceptive cycle over and over and over and over and over again, you chose to disconnect it even though it was incredibly painful and hard for you, you disconnected it, you left, you moved on, and you're not interested in 2121 looking back on the past or even entertaining the idea of allowing this person into your life ever again. And I, the, I can't even begin to tell you how grief stricken this person is because of that like I mean just absolute like the, the your absence within their life has really triggered some of the most um deepest painful most deepest emotional painful triggers and and pain and heartache within this person's life like they're paying their karma back for what it is that they did to you. Like this pain, this grief, this heartache, this regret that they're going through is their karma for being deceptive and hurting you the way that they hurt you, Scorpio. Okay, 2222. Um, I want to go ahead and get the tarot here now. Um, because I what Spirit is saying is that you know, they're just kind of warning you about this person coming back in, you know, um, who, whatever Scorpio I'm talking to, you're done with this. You're done with this lesson. You're not allowing this cycle back into your life. So the main reason for spirit giving you this warning is not so much, um, you know, to rekindle something with them. It's it, spirit is giving you this message message to let you know, like they're paying their karma. They are coming in to try to weasel their way back into your life. And the message from spirit is don't allow them to do that. Allow them to stew in the soup that they created. Twenty three, twenty three. Right. Spirit is saying, my love, you are a divine feminine and you are a blessing in, in, in people's lives. OK, you go into people's lives and you transform their lives for the better. Your attention in people's lives is a blessing. It is a privilege. OK, your energy, your attention, just being able to talk to you is a privilege that spirit is asking you to deny this person because they have proven that they are not worthy of your energy, your love, right? Um, so th there's that, but I do feel like, you know, I'm about to pull some cards here and I do feel like these cards are really going to represent what it is you're heading into. Um, this person may also feel like you are their twin flame or some sort of soulmate here. Okay, there's something here about like they're bonded to you, but you're not bonded to them, right? Like they, they can't seem to let this go. They're, they're, they're stuck. They're stuck in this pain and this trauma and this heartache because it's their karma 
for what it is that they did to you, okay? Messages of only the highest love and light, please. Messages of only the highest love and light. Messages of only the highest love and light, please. Messages of only the highest love and light. Please, Spirit, messages of only the highest love and light, please. Messages of only the highest love and light. Yeah, see, Empress energy, divine feminine energy. This is for a Scorpio who um, really deeply recognizes their worth and the fact that their attention, their energy is a privilege and an honor in the lives of the people that they choose to be in. There's a very magical quality about you, Scorpio, that when you go into people's lives and you show them attention and affection and you give them your love, even on just a friendship level, like this, whoever it is that you're giving that to, um, it's making their life better. It's making this person better. The love that you offer, the attention that you offer, it essentially goes into that person's life and it, it flourishes aspects of their life, right? Um, what I'm seeing is Scorpio going into a person's life and, the, and maybe that person's life is like a desert. And it's like you go into this person's life and through your love, your attention and, and your affection. Now all of a sudden we've got flowers growing and this oasis and water and waterfalls and tropical, like lush, beautiful area full of life and growth, right? It's, that's what you do when you go into people's lives. And I feel like you're very aware of that, Scorpio, with the Divine Feminine and the Empress here. You're very aware of your magical energy. You're very aware of the fact that you are a goddess and that you, access to your energy is a privilege and an honor that um, only goes to people who are able to see um, See your worth, see uh, what it is you deserve, and then give that to you, right? That's not what this person did, okay? That's not what this person did. Um, can I have a card here for Scorpio, please? Only rooted in the highest love and light, please. Only rooted in the highest love and light. I don't know. Maybe they're done. Are you done here? Do you got any more cards? We've got the Hierophant. I'd really like one more, please. For Scorpio. Yeah, you're manifesting something new, something stable. Um, you're manifesting something new, something stable. You are very driven right now within your life your purpose, you know, your money, what it is that you're creating, okay, whether that's a business, whether that's better health, like whatever it is you're, you're, you're trying to create in your life right now, which is going to be different for everybody, like you're highly focused on it, you know, and like I said, that could be your health, that could be your spiritual development, that could be um, a business, that could be money, it could be education, all right, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. So you do have somebody new coming in here. Oh my God. Ten of Cups, the lovers. Okay. You have a, a, a connection coming in here. And, and what I will say is that this is a very deep uh, spiritual connection with somebody who has the intention to um, help you with your life. Like this person um, is very devoted to seeing you uh, thrive, right? And, and I feel like this person has the resources to help you and assist you get to that place within your life, right? 
Um, I do feel like this person, whoever this King of Pentacles is, um, like I said, they have some sort of resources and they're in there. They, they hold some sort of position that allows them to give you an abundance of opportunity, right? So like, for example, this person could be a music executive. This person could be um, a celebrity manager. This person could hold a position within politics, within, um, you know, the city council. You know, there, there are a lot of things that this person has, you know, at their fingertips, a lot of opportunities, a lot of people they know, a lot of growth that they can help you with and assist you with. And that's exactly what they're doing. Okay. Um, that could be through money, through opportunities, through giving you jobs, work, whatever. Okay. Um, but whatever resources this King of Pentacles has available to him, you know, he is giving to you. Okay. So I have to go, you guys, I will be right back. I'm just going to pause the video and then, um, I got to go get my kids, but I will be right back with the rest of your reading. All right, you guys, I had to go get my kids, so they're home now. If you hear noise in the background, you know why. <laughs> um, but you definitely have a new start here with somebody um, who's very devoted to you. Somebody who is very, you know, interested in elevating you in any way that they can. Whether that's on a health, you know, elevating your health, elevating your awareness, Elevating your spirituality, your religious beliefs, elevating you in a in a monetary way by bringing um, bringing opportunities and stuff. All right, but this person is very invested in your growth. All right, and they're wanting to grow with you and to succeed together. I also do feel like this is um, a, a very deep bond and a very deep um, past life connection because of the Six of Cups and also the lovers here. Um, you know, I do know that, like, what I see here is that we have the world as well. And kind of what I'm feeling with the world is, like, you know, you, you, you had to, you know, meet this person up here from the past and go through this heartache and this pain in order to meet this person, right? It, it's, it's, it, um, how do I explain this? It's like, even though these are two different masculines, okay, this masculine that was deceptive in the past is, um, uh, uh he, he, he or she, okay, was a lesson, all right, a lesson that you needed to learn in order to experience the growth and in order to be able to evolve to the point where you would be able to welcome in the love of your life, right? It's kind of like you had to go through this in order to get to this, right? You had to go through um, the person that broke your heart and, and created a lot of pain, 3333, in order for you to come into your happily ever after, in order for you to come into this soulmate bond, right? In order for you to come into your blessings. Um, because I feel like in a lot of ways, this person created such a painful, um, such a painful situation within your life that it, it, it really tore up the foundation of who it is that you thought that you were. And when you rebuilt yourself, you rebuilt yourself in a way that is very divine. You know, you rebirthed yourself. You rebirthed yourself in a place of divinity. And, um, you know, this person was never meant to experience you, to have you, okay? This person was truly meant to come into your life to teach you lessons and um, to test... Uh, to teach you lessons and also to test um, 
your spiritual capabilities. And it's like you passed the tests here. You, you, you cleared the lesson. You stopped the cycle. And now it's like the universe is, is bringing in your new beginning here. Okay, your new beginning. It's like, hey, Scorpio, you passed the test. You stopped the cycle. You know, you stopped the cycle. You let go. You healed. And now because of that, like, here's your blessing. Okay, here's your new start. Here's the person you've been asking for that, that, that's going to grow with you on all levels, right? And, um, you know, with the hanged man here, um, or I guess specifically this deck, it's the hanged woman. Um, I'm just really picking up the sense of this, this, this message coming through of like time is up, like whatever stagnant energy you were dealing with when it comes to certain areas of your life, including love, right? It's like that energy is clearing and it's like, we're bringing this person in now, like they're coming in. Um, I feel in November. Okay. Um, I genuinely feel like for whatever Scorpio I'm picking up, you're not going to be alone this winter. Okay. And I've said that in many, many, many readings. Not every Scorpio has the same storyline. Not every Scorpio has the same love story. The, the storyline for this Scorpio is clearly very different from the storyline that I got for the Scorpio yesterday and the Scorpio the day before. Do you get what I'm saying? So every Scorpio kind of has their own storyline, but I do feel like there's this storyline for Scorpio of you not being alone for winter, right? You not being alone this winter, you having somebody like regardless of what your storyline is, whether this is your storyline or the reading yesterday was the sto your storyline or the reading the day before was your storyline. There's this very strong message coming through of there are so many different Scorpios with different love stories and different storylines. And there's this message coming through of, you know, as a collective, you're, you're coming together and you're finding this epic love story. And, you know, you're spending the winter kind of cooped up, you know, in your house with the fireplace going, you know, watching, um, movies and, um, you know, kissing on your boo, kissing on your boo thing. All right. So, um, I love you guys with my entire heart. That was a, a, a very beautiful reading and obviously something to genuinely look forward to. And I just want you guys to know that I love you and I wish you all nothing but the best. Namaste.